Okay, so my computer has this weird thing where the secondary drive likes to wind up, and then uh, it decides, hey, I don't know what to do anymore. And it crashes whatever tried to reference something on that drive, because it took too long. And that just made uh, OBS disconnect for a moment. I really ought to look for references on OBS to the secondary drive. Maybe there's a, a path I have in there somewhere. Cree. Cree again. Freaking Cree. Well, let's show that superiority. Because I am superior. Separated stacks here. Oh, how do you get out? Where are you going? Mohican. Oh, there is a battle that's going to be happening, happening here. Let's see the cross of swords. Kree's army got destroyed in the last war, so they probably won't be bothering me. Damn it, stop being so fast. Oh, this nuisance is actually do some harm, so I'll chase him down. Probably have, will have to send a representative to Cree to uh, convince them that this is not a war that they should care about. Brick. Nobody threatens my trade. doesn't also have their trade threatened. I gotta work out my threats. Yeah, just send them all down here. What could go wrong? Wait, they didn't join the war? Cree. Somebody else is there. Wait. Dude, I'm really confused. Oh well. I'm managing the siege. Korea is not Norse, but I can fix that. With this run. Let's, uh, let's go. Spend money, gain mercantilism. Three mercantilism. Yes, please. I'll spend the Iroquois money. Speaking of the Iroquois, I can give them a separate piece right here. Yeah. If only I had, uh, you know, admin. Of course the clergy wants land. What's some good land that has, uh, less valuable 
goods. Have some world clergy. Uh, oh, Karibas pulled the trigger and I didn't notice. Nice time to build some heavies, I think. I think this is a very good time to build heavies. Oh, and the Korea are exiled, so they can't even fight me unless they want to walk into their territory and die. Conversion successful. Next. I have an army down by the Portuguese, I believe. Yes, I do. They're attacking me. We'll see about that. We'll see how they feel about the almighty Odin. Losing this war, both the colonies? Good. I don't want to fight one of them. Spanish Brazil's against me though, which is a little annoying. There we go. Double check their tech is 13 to my 14. Oh, excellent. These are the Spaniards, too. They're not even. So they're at 13. They're... Okay, yeah, I have a... I'm ahead on tech. Find it unlikely that I'll be given land in all this. Why can I not just detach a siege? No comprende. it with a whole stack. Really, they're gonna come and fight me here. I'll allow it. Thank you, Brazil, for being so utterly ineffectual. The fact that they haven't killed my trade ships yet tells me that they don't have much of an advantage on that front. I should probably also build some transports. Seems like it would be pretty important in a war against the Iberians.
I win this, I can just have my way with the Spanish, essentially. Or not the Spanish, the Portuguese colonies. forts, but I think that's not a problem. Well, Carbus leaves this war, so I am going to have to save them over here. Where's their capital? Ah, it's occupied. That's not good. It's not good. Apparently, I occupy this. Oh, they gave it to me because I have a claim. Ah, okay, so maybe I will get something. No argument here. I see very little reason not to attack other things in the meantime while I wait for my transports. Southern army is occupied, it'll be in the north, and Cree or Asagi are excellent candidates. We may as well start claiming people again. I don't see any need for my diplomats in the immediate, so I'll just fabricate all over these borders. of these jerks. They're probably heading to these forts. Remove Iberian culture, only Scandinavian lot. Well, we'll see about that. Man, if I was smart, I would have listed, like, everything they owned as vital interest. I'm not. Yeah, they're definitely going to need help over here pretty soon. The heavies are only a little more than half done, though. Roanoke's done, and I'm actually going to stop spending on colonies for a bit, just so I have the extra money for war. Where are my colonies? I really don't need the building ships tab. Hey, Code Star, how's it going? This isn't 
looking great. I really need those transports and those that army. I'm the army to Louisiana. That's when my troop troops will be up. Going good. Good to hear it. Oh, that's cheap. Look at that. Adjacent culture. Transports over here. Ten of them. I'll have my heavies to back them up shortly. First round of heavies. Take Cuba back. I don't seem terribly eager to fight here. Battle of Windward Isles? Why was there a battle there? Why was I involved? Oh, my baby. Finally went for it. Okay. I'll leave it in port for a minute. Damn good army there. See, my 10 heavies versus their 8 heavies, and mostly transports? Oh yes, I would love to come fight this. Now we've got more, but heavies, it is still mostly transports. I think I can fight that. Go. Oh shit, there's more. Alright, that is 
just too many. Let's go back to uh, Honduras here. Oh, my transports got, or my uh, merchant ships got wrecked. Off one guy, I'm just kind of ah, got him. See, let's make a new template. Something like that. Have it convene here. Let's raise up a new army to take, definitely take Cuba back. colonize then I suppose I suppose up here just seems best hmm, that's almost done <laughs> eat it Spain we got here. That Spanish fleet is scary as hell. I really need to re uh, recover their capital though. As soon as this army convenes. Ah crap, did I make it all... Idiot surrendered. Well, Build the trade fleet, I suppose. Let's do a full forty of them. Why would you go that way? Oh well, next time.
back to spending all my money on colonies. Probably mothballing all those heavies. And getting rid of this template. Because I screwed it up. Just the thing to do now. Just conquer more natives. You want to start playing some EU4? That's a good idea. Especially since momentarily I'm going to have to stop playing some EU4. Because it's getting late and I'm already going to be paying for it tomorrow. Because I have to get up in uh, seven hours. Which isn't too bad yet. But still. Ah, okay, this broke free. Perfect. I like how the exile guy can explore. With the explorer. It's pretty convenient. making too much money. Can't have that. I'm almost not even overextended anymore. Hola. Time's up. Inca. Same deal. Finishing off the Andes right here, right now. And you guys did your conversion? Yep. So you guys are ready for conquest too. As for that colony, we're doing another colonist. Odinesk Northeast. Odinesk Mississippi. Get the whole East Coast there. Looks like you guys don't have much of an army either. Probably. Because we're piss poor. Just gonna assume that I can finish you off. Good relations. Good relations. This is good relations crap. How do I get my relations down with them?
Can I insult them? Good relations. Balance out. For how long? Ten years? Get rid of twenty-five autonomy? Sure. It does balance out. Perfect. Of course, what I didn't account for is that an estate holds this and it can't go lower than that. So that was done with me. States are a confusing thing at times. <laughs> I don't have enough to court. I should have enough to court. Why can't I court this? Oh, I'm at war with the Inca. I see. Seriously, how... This is really annoying. Oh, is it because I switched to hostile I can now attack? Hm. That's quite nice, actually. I've got pretenders. Whom I'm going to have to kill. Because they're too lazy. Alright, after I annex these two... I think I gotta get out of here. So I've got too many dip points, which can be pumped into Proving my trait. You have a question? The 24 by? What's your question? Happily answer. Whatever you got. Production. So I really want to do it on a good trade. Good. I should actually just do it on a gold.
all the way up to nine. Did I win the Portuguese War? No, Caribas surrendered too, surrendered too early. I was building the fleet to come save them, and they just gave up. Honestly, they could have just attacked, and we would have won, I'm pretty sure. So you're playing as Bavaria, and you got called into a war with Austria. Locked out, and we smashed them. Is there any way I could demand provinces from the war leader, or do I have to separate these? Mm. The only way to guarantee you're going to get land is a separate piece, in my experience. If the AI really likes you and they can't use the land, they'll tend to not give you anything. Granted, the AI does do it sometimes, but I haven't found a way to successfully predict when they will, especially when they have something to gain. So if you want something, you, you're going to want to separate piece. Okay, transport some heavies. These guys get a mothball. Ain't no problem. Inti is almost extinct. Nope, the Inca are now dead. There's only room for one empire in this continent. Here's a hint, it's not you. Alright. Have a good day, Hidney. Caribels. Oh, my colony is set up correctly. Not really. I'll call this. Send it here. Probably recall that and send it there. And the reason I'm doing this, in case anybody's unfamiliar, is that a low... Oh, okay, let me find one. A low population colony has a much lower chance... I removed it all from the low ones here. Well, there's this, uh... Oh, where's, where did I put those? Settlers, okay. Oh, okay, I'll do it when he arrives. Here's a good example. So, there's a percent chance every month that your colonists will give you a boost of settlers. And I think that number is like 10 or 20 or something. Either way, compared to the monthly standard growth, it's pretty significant. The chance that this happens it grows significantly as your colony grows. So a high population colony will be able to take advantage of this chance provided by the settler sitting there much more. So if you have, if you're way over your colony limit like I am, I'm still making positive income on that. You want to keep your actual settlers on the more populated colonies because you'll get more settlers on average over time. So you, so I use the settler to make a new colony, then immediately take them off and. Ooh, Free stats? For a mere pittance? But yeah, I make a colony, then send the colony colonists to an older colony. And just kind of cycle that way. 
Because they don't do much when the colony is really small. I'm not going to finish out this war, but I'm going to start it. Kato. It's a shame I can't take you. Of truce and 85. Oh, not even too long. If I'm really lucky, Portugal will end up on the other side of a war from Spain. I can get the two to fight each other. And improve relations with France, because I would like a French ally quite a bit. Might be hard to do, but they are likely enemies with Spain and Britain, which I am too. So we'll see, maybe I get them uh, beyond neutral. Did I make them a co-belligerent? I don't remember. Kato is not a co-belligerent, so they'll have no extra allies coming in. So I'll just head over there and crush them. Expedite this little process. They've got nowhere to go, so I'm not really going to pay attention to them. All right, colony done. Excellent. Do this one next. Somehow this guy's exiled. I don't really understand why. Seems kind of like a bug to me. But that means I only have to worry about these for the rest of this war. And with this I am okay. Actually, I don't even have to worry about them because I'm going to... Take out Kato now. Already folded. Let's get rid of your treaties. I don't want to have to deal with you. Take your money. This war ended before the other one. Do I have a... Yeah, I do. But the agent's discovered, so I'm just gonna end it. It would take way too long. Take all your money, take all your land. Make it mine. And because I previously swept through the area and converted all these to Norse, there is no revolt risk at all. The alliance would have looked like here. The allies with them? Or here? No allies? You have allies. Why aren't they showing up? Oh, it's them. Okay. Okay. Not cool. Well, these guys are just going to sit here for a while, aren't they? I'm okay with that. He wants more land. There you go. 
Okay, other work's done. Perfect. Just out of habit, I want to make sure my overextension can be, uh, will be less than 100 when I'm done with this. Probably well less. So I don't have the admin for it. I finally completed that old mission. Vassalize Assiniboine. I can't. They're not advanced enough. Unless they're westernized or something. I literally can't do it. I'm too advanced. Remove Creek from the map. Now we're talking. So, thanks for joining me. I'll be back in the next couple of nights to pick this up, because now I'm on a roll and I'm, I'm feeling it and getting into it. See about uh, really locking down the Americas and kicking out the Iberians pretty soon, I think. I think it's well within my capacity. I just have to be ready for it when the war starts, unlike the last one. So, alright. Have a good night, everyone.